Alright guys, welcome back to another guide from Guide to Grab Food. You subscribe for the best and latest, most updated guides on this channel. And if you haven't already known, head to my playlist. And as you can see, the red color frame is the guides, electric scooter reviews on blue, and some random stuff on yellow. And this is the vlogs, which is on green color, green color frame. And there you have it, don't forget to subscribe, give this video a like and let's move on and we'll talk about insurance today. And you guys really have to understand the importance of insurance because we as a food delivery partner, we spend a lot of time out on the road, on the streets and we are bound and accidents is bound to happen, be it collusion with pedestrians or on ourselves, right? So in this video, we're going to talk about Food delivery firms take up third party liability insurance, which includes Deliveroo, Food Panda, and Grab. And we're also going to talk a little bit more about this guy. He actually hit a cup, and the news is all over here. And Grab actually helps on covering the covering him with his insurance claims. All right, now we're going to find out which food delivery firm actually took up third party insurance. And according to what I see here on the news from Streets Time, Grab Deliveroo and Grab have, have, have already taken up third-party liability insurance for their riders, while third-party company Food Panda is looking into purchasing the insurance. This is something to take note for Panda riders. You guys are not covered by any form of insurance, so if you happen to fall down and whatsoever, you have to be responsible for your own insurance, be it if you are a, a cyclist a PND user or, or even a moto riders. So Deliveroo said all 6,000 of its riders has been covered by insurance for free since last year of May, right? So accident insurance is applicable to all riders on all vehicle types and their substitutes. While all cyclists and e-scooter riders also have third-party insurance. And what does third-party insurance mean? It, it means that you know riders are actually covered by insurance that are 1.5 million in the event if they cause injury to another person and on top of that they also cover you know the rider in case of property damage and cover any legal costs occurred so if anyone wants to sue you know this uh, delivery rider for causing property damage delivery actually helps to cover helps to pay the legal cost you know so actually delivery is doing a pretty good job on covering its riders i would say okay so now we know that how well deliveroo actually covers its riders let's talk about let's talk about grab see, see if grab is any better okay grab which runs grab food says rider has been covered by third party insurance since 14th of june the coverage aims to provide peace of mind to both pedestrian and delivery riders however this is the part that they did not disclose the total number of riders insured or the monetary value of the coverage. Not too sure why they are so secretive about that since Deliveroo actually, you know, probably my, my assumption would be that they do not want riders to sort of like take advantage of the insurance and, and claim that they they fell and something because there's a lot of insurance fraud so this is the reason why this might this should be the reason why that grab do not want to disclose it any any amount or or the or the riders that's insured and now food panda Food Panda public relations team did not respond to ST request for comment, but ST understands that the company is also looking into buying third-party insurance for its riders. Up to now, right now at this moment, it's September, and there is no news that Food Panda actually uh, has carries like the third-party insurance for its riders. There's no update at all. However, if you are a Food Panda rider that's watching this, leave in the comment section below if you guys are covered by any form of insurance just share with us okay i mean i'm curious you are curious everyone's curious because it's kind of strange like you know insurance is, is actually a very crucial very critical um, um th thing for 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 food delivery riders because like i mentioned we are bound to accidents is bound to happen 
no matter how careful you are, maybe pedestrians, uh, they are all looking at their phone, the phone zombies as we all know, they are, and then we actually hit, hit into them. So insurance is actually a very important thing, no idea why Panda is not doing any form of insurance to its riders. So comment down below for Panda riders if you know whether you are covered by any form of insurance or not. And up next, we have Grabfoot delivery rider injures arm after hitting a mark curb worries about the future of his job so if you want to read the whole article i'll link it in the description below and what happened you know long story short is that this guy he hit he hit this cut this cut over here on the top right hand side of the photo which i've seen a lot of this around throughout singapore no idea why it's not marked it's just blended and what grab did was that grab actually is helping him with his insurance claim so this happened in you know in april so i hope this guy iskandar you are fully recovered all the best to you all right so we have another news so many news huh grab food rider grab food rider injures elderly man in e-scooter crash okay so according to this news that i read i have read um, Grab doesn't seem to be able to cover any form of inter-party insurance to the elderly man because this guy is uh, causing hurt due to negligence which probably means that he was speeding or something and no idea like just Grab doesn't there's there's probably something to take note, take note. so if you are if you are if you are if you are causing a uh, Neck, causing hurt to pedestrian due to negligence then Grab probably doesn't cover your insurance or or co doesn't cover the the elderly spend's insurance so yeah this is something to take note all right so now we have been talking about pmd and cyclist insurance let's talk about motor insurance over here you have the responsibility of ensuring your vehicle is covered with current and valid motor insurance so which in other words which means that for motorbike riders you guys have to have your own insurance okay because because let me read here you understand that allowing or using the use of vehicle without valid insurance is an offense and is punishable by fine not exceeding one thousand dollars or you could even go to the jail okay so according to this according to singapore's law you have to have your own insurance otherwise it is an offense a punishable offense welcome to singapore so that, that, that that's it for uh, bike riders you guys have to have your own insurance and probably isn't covered by grab here's something to take note all accidents should be reported to the insurance firm which for us it's managed by chap chubb okay by submitting the claim report within the time the period no longer than 30 days of the accidents occurring and later on i'm going to share with you guys how to submit the claim report okay so all the proofs and document such as mc whatever 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 police report must be submitted to them all right so now i'm going to share with you how to view your own policy and as well as to make a claim via the grab app so now you need to head to your grab app go to more and grab insured and for the first time if you are clicking on this there will be a pop-up message and you just need to select i consent all right and under my policies tab you can see that you are covered for personal accidents by grab so you do not have to pay a single cent it's free however if you wish to upgrade upgrade go to the explore tab and you'll be able to see two additional plans okay the first one is actually insurance for yourself and spouse and I believe that Grab has heavily subsidized this, uh, which is three dollars and fifty cents, which covers the following, which is uh, the accidental death, uh, permanent disablement, and medical expenses for you and your spouse. All right. And the second plan, if you scroll down, this is a prolonged medical leave plus, which is also meant, known as Rider. It covers your daily loss of income in the event of accident or illness for for only eleven dollars for eleven dollars per month. That means you, have, you just have to pay eleven dollars per month in the event if you happen to be lying in a hospital bed, and you are still able to claim up to two hundred dollars a day. 
and since it says up to $200 a day, everyone's earning per day is different, right? So if you want to go to details on how much you can claim per day, you know, you scroll down all the way, you scroll all the way down, select inquiries, and from there you can find out more about their insurance product. All right, so to make a claim with Grab, you have to go to the nearest hospital or clinic, get yourself checked, get a receipt, get a memo if possible, and report to the accident, to the customer service, and and police okay so in that case for this case you're gonna call chuck and the phone number is six two nine nine zero nine eight eight i would actually link it down on the description below their operating hours monday to friday nine to five and they will then share with you how to uh, make a claim on the phone and after which they will actually hit ask you to head down to the office and you know to, to collect your documents and claim report and you have to sign submit the documents and verify and there you have it compensation however it did not state that how long it takes to for you to get to get compensated but on an average from my experience by insurance it takes about three to four weeks to get um, compensated if you have ever made a claim from chart leave in the comment section below how long you have to wait to get compensated share with us okay so if you find this video helpful give it a like subscribe and fellow riders see you on the streets